we're good. So it's been a while since I've recorded anything. So yeah, I'm in the eighth grade now. It's like so weird, except it's not. Nobody's even matured. Everybody's still the same old person and it's really annoying because I'm tired of everybody. I cannot wait to get to high school. <sighs> but you really learn who your real friends are. Anywho, welcome to today's episode of Rejection Hotline. Today's topic, what to do if you get rejected in the hallway at school. So what I would do is what I personally did is my bestie was holding my hand. So she took me and we walked away together and it was the best thing ever. Love you, bestie. Anywho, she's the best. That's the tea, sis. So, today we're drinking a green smoothie. It consists of spinach and strawberries, water, and ice. Not milk, because milk is gross. Anywho. Okay, so this is our spray bottle that we use to frantically do our hair in the morning as we wake up and we have to rush and hurry up and get in the car before he's late to go to work. Sprint, sprint. My uncle drives me to school every morning. It's been a very long time since I've recorded a video, so yeah. Um, I shut the car door on my earbuds and now they look like this. It's beautiful. I know. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, yeah. Spritz, spritz. I need Jesus. I have Jesus. It says so in this little pamphlet book from my church that I probably should not show on screen because that has an address on it. But, yeah. Um, my Bible says my name on it, so I feel special. One second. So, today's topic, as I said before, is... <gasps> that could have ended negatively, but we're not all about negative vibes here, so... Basically, today's topic is rejection. It's okay to get rejected, because if they reject you, then you're obviously too good for them, like... And I know people say that, and it doesn't really feel like that, but trust me, it's true. So, yeah. Like... What to do is just to hold your head up high. Walk. And if you cry, you cry. Like, there's and no shame in it. If he tells all, your fr tells all his friends, just be like, yeah, I cried. Who cares? Because, like, in the long run, nobody's ever going to remember this, to be honest. And if he does, it means he actually liked you. So, the more he brings it up, the more it proves your point that he likes you. <sighs> Comment down below if you've ever got rejected. That is rain for tears infused with hair growth oil. Yes, by curls. Oof. Anywho. <sighs> I don't know what to talk about. I guess I'll just talk about my day. So, today, I woke up. We're feeling great. We're feeling really good, actually. Not even gonna lie. I was feeling pretty good this morning. I got up. Yeah, I was late <laughs> this morning. I was so late. Like, late, late. It was 8.39 when I got into the school doors. I got to the car at 8.26. And I'm supposed to be in the car by 7.50. Ugh. Anywho, I had a project to finish, so. And your girl told herself last night that she was only going to take a little nap, but she ended up not waking up. So I slept, and I took my nap at 8 o'clock, and I woke up at 6-something. It was, ugh. And I still couldn't get out of the bed. Me and my bed have a love-hate relationship, you know? So, 
Anywho, I didn't eat breakfast because I was already running late. And it took me, like, not even lying, 30 minutes to get my hair done. Because this was looking like this all everywhere. And I was like, oh my gosh, we're never going to make it. So, thank you, Cantu. Thank you, Shea Moisture. Thank you, Wet Brush. Because I just do this in the morning to pick it out a little bit. Give it some extra fluff. So the people who sit behind me can't see the board. Ha ha, I love sitting in the front. Anywho. And then, uh, another thing about having a lot of hair, or just hair in general, is that it holds like a lot of smell. So you can put a, like a lot of perfume on it. And then like totally forget to put deodorant on. Because you will just smell the hair products, which smell good. And you'll also smell the perfume. So you're good. You don't even need deodorant anymore it saves you a lot of money just a little hack so to my right no this is my left okay to my left i have an african head wrap for my dad thanks dad and he'll, over there you can see that i was frantically looking for something to wear so my drawers are still a bit of a mess um my athletic shorts are coming out and so are my pajamas and my jeans are out right there. But you can't see that. So we're okay. Anywho, we have a ukulele. Hold on. We have a ukulele from Lord knows when. And only one light of my bedroom works at the moment because we've had these lights for the past two years. And they've been on for about 90% of the day. Like, sometimes I left them on when I go to school. And I know that's not the best idea, but I do it. And it's on accident, but sometimes I just walk out the door. Um, I have painting that I did, which I regret. Because I hate it so much. And then, hallelujah, hallelujah. I got the Spaniard flag up here. I have a Jamaican doll, two Jamaican dolls right here. And then behind those are porcelain dolls. From, I don't know, but my grandma used to get them when they used to sell them. So, um, we got some. So, yeah. And I'm continuing on with my day. Basically, I woke up feeling great, late to school, good. I saw somebody that I don't really want to talk to. He smiled at me. And me being a good little Christian girl, I smiled back. Like this. Or sometimes I smile at people I don't like like this. <laughs> but, so I was walking in the hallway and I went to class because that's what I do in the hallway. I go to class. So basically, class is pretty great. By the way, that's my feet up here. I'm trying to put my feet up here. It's way too I have really cracky toes, if you know what I mean. Ha 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 ha. Gonna probably not edit it, but say I will later. Ha 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 ha. So yeah, I walked to class by myself and said, I'm at my bestie, then we watched the class. And I was just building myself up ready to tell my crush that I like him. Fifth period came. The last period that I ever see him. The bell rings. I went up to him. I said, I like you. Then I started to rant. And I know that he said, I know. So, a friend of mine told him this morning. Asked him if he liked me. And he said no. So, I'm pretty sad about that. But I'm not that sad. Because, obviously, I don't know way too many people. Obviously, she wasn't even that cute, to be honest. Like, what in the world? You know when you look back at somebody you used to like, and then you're just like, ugh, why did I ever like them? <laughs> That's how I feel right now. Anywho, much love. Yellow heart, green heart. Love you guys. Bye. Thank you for listening to all my troubles and drama. Peace.